Through Project Watch W, schools participating in the PNGO's Partnership Secondary Schools Initiative have created local solutions to real-world problems in the time of COVID-19. Teams from 14 schools use design thinking principles to innovate solutions around clean water, sanitation, hygiene, and well-being. So my name is Paul Reyes. I'm Program Coordinator at WaterAid Australia, and I work really close with WaterAid PNG. When we go into schools um, where we build hand washing facilities and toilets, we always ask students and staff what they think of them, of the designs that we propose. Um, so being involved in the in the project has been very exciting to see the local solutions that the, the teams have come up with. The project was split into sections for each part of the design thinking process, including empathy interviews, definition of the problems, ideation of solutions, and finally prototyping and testing the preferred solutions. We started by empathizing with our school situation, and that is mainly clean drinking water and awareness since we are in a rural setting. Students from Ayura National High School collaborated with St. Paul's School in Queensland to develop a water purification system powered by a wind turbine. The definition we have um, come up with a question, how might we uh, engage the Pasar National community to dispose our rubbish in a more environment-friendly manner. At Pasam National High School, the students have tackled the issue of hygiene by creating an improved dump site and constructing a new rubbish incinerator. Panderberg State High School in Queensland has considered the well-being of students during COVID lockdowns. Our students felt like we needed to create a bit of an awareness campaign of the challenges that COVID is contributing. And so they came up with the concept of starting a pen pal uh, idea where um, students could uh, communicate with a number of schools that are participating in the project. The team at Port Mosby National High School also focused on student well-being. So we came up with this question, the how might we question, while adapting to COVID-19 measures, improve our mental well-being and focus on school. We chose a study group which we saw that it would be um, more effective in helping the student body as a whole. Cherrybrook Technology High School in New South Wales conducted scientific experiments with a range of filtration techniques to determine the safest method of producing drinking water. Tests conducted by Kerrivet National High School students have shown promising results from a water filtration system made of recycled plastic bottles, charcoal and sand. St. Gabriel's Technical Secondary School has solved a water availability problem by designing a hand washing station complete with its own water storage facility. We came up this project that uh, the concerned our school uh, IG. One of the problem is um, proper taps in the school. We don't have that much tap in the school, so it is hard for a student to maintain their IG. To solve this problem, the Mount Hagen students designed a system for providing water to their science and home economics labs. Sogari National High School's BioShade project produces a cleaner river system and improves student well-being by creating shade screens from plastic rubbish dumped by flood waters. In our design thinking, the biggest challenges that we uh, faced were the flooding of the river systems. So we're turning the rubbish into a bio shade so, so it like covers the classroom areas and it keeps it a bit, a bit cool. Wawi National High School explored solutions for water conservation and pest control. The how many questions we developed is how much we create bed bugs in the dormitories as well as the teachers' houses. We collect samples of plants for testing. We produce an insecticide that could possibly remove with the help of bottles collected from the waste management team. Hurlston Agricultural High School students created a range of hygiene and water solutions. Introducing the Waddle. The Waddle is a portable hand washing device allowing its users to effectively wash their hands with the same convenience as hand sanitizers. Uh, so basically our uh, solution is called the Hydro Bag and it's basically a bag with the ability to filter and store water. Gumini Secondary School developed an infrastructure master plan to improve water supply to the entire school. Using the design thinking processes, we have 
empathized and identify people who will benefit and those are teacher and teacher's family and the students. The team at Mountain Creek State High School surveyed staff and students to identify the most concerning COVID-19 issues and use this data in creative ways to communicate COVID safe messages. We came up with the solution to create comic strips. One looking at the uh, social distancing in the tuck shop line because it is huge at our school. Uh, sanitation in our classrooms and washing hands. We're going to be advertising them in the bathrooms on the back of the stores. It's been really incredibly impressive to see these innovative designs. Um, a lot of these designs can be scaled up and implemented in, in other schools. And for me personally, it was a, a really a great learning experience.